Hi, I'm back with yet another project for my kids. Today, I'm gonna use this space and build them a climbing frame. Let's make it happen. I want to make them like a lookout post with a little bit of space to walk around. But the deck will be raised quite high up, so I need to dig some poles into the ground to provide enough support. I've covered the part of the pole which goes below ground level with cryocyte, which prevents the wood from rotting. Unfortunately, the effective cryocyte is highly toxic, so I'll not be using it to weatherproof the rest of the frame. I think it comes without saying that it is important to make sure that the support is straight. And so, I've got three poles in the ground, and I will add one more for the other side. This will be plenty. I am pro-repurposing, and pro-saving money. So I found people online offering these pallets for free. Now I can extract the planks and use them in my build. It just takes a couple of therapeutic hours to get rid of all the nails. Time to build the deck. I'm using 50mm by 75mm pieces of timber to form the structure. These are the same as the support poles, by the way. I'm drilling holes to prevent the wood from splitting, as well as to guide the wood screws I'm gonna use to hold this together. I've chosen 80mm screws, which will give me plenty of strength. Next, I will cover this rectangle with the planks I salvaged. Note that I sanded the top side a little bit, to prevent my little ones from getting splinters. Also, I'm placing the planks diagonally to minimize wastage. I don't think I would have had enough otherwise. I don't want to look cheap, but I'm even using the same nails I pulled out from the very pallet. The final step here is to get rid of the excess. I measured how big the deck needs to be, and I'm marking the lines to aid cutting. A jigsaw here is a perfect tool to trim the edges. By using this strategy, I save time by not needing to measure and cut the individual planks beforehand. And here's the result. The whole thing should now fit snugly on the support poles I prepared earlier. And it does. I'm securing it using the same screws, both to the poles, as well as to the existing structure. This is a good point to paint what I have so far. Remember how I said cryocyte was too toxic? I have water-based, resin-enriched treatment which is meant to protect wood from sun and water, where you do not need the quality finish regular paint would provide. And it is as much as 10 times cheaper than paint. With painting done, I can add a guard around the deck to prevent my boys from falling. Again, I salvaged much of the wood from yet another pallet. And I was intentional to put the fence pickets in between the ones of the existing fence, to make hammering more accessible. Hmm, looks nice. Let's move on. I want to make something I know by the name of Swedish Ladder. I cut a dowel measuring 30mm in diameter to sections of equal length. Now, I'm using this beefy drill bit to drill halfway into a similar piece of timber I used elsewhere. The dowel should fit right in. Once I make enough holes in two of such pieces and properly sand the wood, I can secure each step of the ladder with a screw. And it looks perfect! Just need to paint it. The second activity for my boys on the list is a climbing net. This time I need to drill 22mm holes all the way through the wood, then sand it and paint it. I've got 21 meters of rope, which by my estimation should be just enough. I thought long and hard of how to make the net the simplest, and this is what I came up with. If I zigzag the rope like this, the last section of the rope will tension the one before it, and so on until the beginning meaning that once I tension the final piece of the rope, I will have a complete net without tying any knots in the junctions, nor buying any junction buckles. Pretty smart. Also, as you can see, the rope is threaded through the holes I made, and the knots on the outside are what holds the load. The benefit of this is that once the rope becomes longer over time, and trust me when I say this, it will happen with climbing, I will be able to undo some of the knots, retention, and retie. On to the final building stage. You can see that I already have the Swedish ladder in place. I'm now securing planks to complete the center section. 
I'm screwing them 5 cm apart, just enough for tiny hands and feet to fit. But the intention is not to build another ladder. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So the final plan completes the construction, and the frame looks really good in my opinion. But let me add some accessories, to make the thing more inviting to my kids. Much better. I added handles for the boys to hold on to, a telescope, a periscope, a steering wheel, and as for the center section, it is now free in one in itself. My toddlers can use it as a ladder for now, but there's climbing stones and a rope for when they are a little older. Not bad at all. Let's see what they think when they see this for the first time. I'll call this as a success. I'm surprised what capable climbers my boys immediately are. They don't know that the telescope goes to one of their eyes and not the nose, but they manage to get up the ladder and the rope equally well. I hope you enjoyed the build of this climbing frame slash lookout post. Feel free to check out my other projects. Leave a like, subscribe, and until next time. Yeah!